The third topic is writing the parabolas in the standard form. We will see the general and the standard form. Now, this is the quadratic function generally given as. This is the general form of a parabola. A parabola is something like this. When you graph it, or it will be down, opening downwards, this is a parabola. So if you graph this, it will be something like this. The standard forms are given over here. Y equals A multiplied by X minus H the whole square plus K. Or it can be in terms of X. X equals A into Y minus K the whole square plus H. Now the thing about this is, you can see, this is the vertical axis which is in consideration. Now the X squared is the vertical axis whereas, sorry. The y is the vertical axis we are dealing with and x over here, x means the horizontal axis, so you can see this is the graph. Now, over here, looking at the equation, you can get a lot of information. If this a value is positive, it is plus a, 1, 2, 3, any of these numbers, positive numbers, you will have like this. Whereas if it is minus, let it be minus 2 or any negative sign will make it open downwards. Similarly over here, positive sign would open right side, negative sign would open left side. Now, this H and K is the vertex. We will see all this in detail over here. Now, these are the formulas. So, this is the uh, parabola and these are the basic formulas which you must remember. Some important things are direction of opening. Whenever you have positive a will open upwards whereas negative a downwards and looking at the equation if y is only power 1 and x is power 2 it is a vertical axis otherwise it's a horizontal axis then the vertex is always h and k that doesn't change the vertex is the focus point over here you know sorry not the focus point vertex is like an edge or where everything is uh, uh i mean everything is being you know, uh, ending, you know, it's like a sharp edge, you know, this is a vertex. So we, it's not a sharp edge, but still the bottom most point or the top most point will be the vertex. Now, axis of symmetry is basically for the vertical axis, the X value, where is this symmetry? Axis of symmetry means a line that equally divides the parabola. Now, this part and this part are equal, isn't it? You can see they they are you know same way it's going up over here as well so that particular point where it equally cuts the parabola into halves is axis of symmetry if it's a horizontal one it'll be y value it at y value it'll equally cut focus is given over here by these formulas directrix and lattice rectum now we will solve the uh, the problem in the third topic it is very easy very straightforward I'm just explaining you about parabola. You do not need to know all this information for this particular problem, but you need to know for other problems. Now, there is another shortcut method. Instead of doing the long cut or the, the normal method which we do, there is a shortcut and a simple method, but you must know these, a plus b, the whole square formulas. Let's quickly recall, a plus b, the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square. And if it is minus over here, a square remains positive, only this middle part, minus 2ab, is negative, and it's minus over here, and plus b square. So why do we need this? The questions will be something like this. You will have the general form. See, the general forms are given. Now, you need to find the vertex, axis of symmetry, and direction of opening, and then write the equation also in the standard form. All these things must be done. Now, since it is the topic 3, you will have MCQs, you will have 4 answers. Looking into the answer as well, you can solve the answer, solve the question. So now, the natural method is completing the square method. You need to uh, complete the square and simplify and solve it. That was taught to you, I uh, believe, in the regular classes in term 2. But now, over here, I will teach you a shortcut method. See. All the answers, there'll be four options, right? So vertex is very easy. You must remember a formula for a vertex. It is minus b by 2a. This always is the vertex. It doesn't matter whether it's x-axis or y-axis. It's uh, it's vertical or horizontal. It's fine. It'll be the same formula. I'll solve a few over here. 
Now B is, so this is A, B, C. Now B is before X, A is before X square. Over here we have B to be minus 24, sorry. The minus is in the formula itself, then again minus 24 divided by 2 times A, 2 multiplied by 2. The answer would be, this would be 4, 4, 6, it will be positive 6. So that is the answer. So this is the X value of the parabola. But now this is also the axis of symmetry. That is the same thing. These two values always remain the same. Now even over here, uh, let's see over here, you can do it. Minus of minus 6 divided by 2 times 3. That would be positive 6 divided by 6. It will be 1. See, it's the same thing. I'll do one more over here. Here now, the values have changed. I mean, the uh, axis, uh, it is not vertical axis. It is horizontal axis. But still, the formula is the same thing. Minus B by 2A. And all you need to do is put the values in. It, B is minus 8. The B does not change. A does not change. C does not change. Only the X and Y changes. So it is fine. 2 times A is nothing. That's 1. And you will have 8 by 2, that is 4. But now there is a very important thing. Axis of symmetry was x over here. But now it is y. Because the, when you graph this, you will get something like this. So this is the y value. So y value is 4. Over here you will find the y value. Now we found out axis of symmetry. And we found out this particular value in the vertex. How do we find the other value? In this case, when x equals y squared, we find axis of symmetry y value and this y value. How do we find the others? Very simple. Take out your calculator. Whatever axis of symmetry you get, put it in the equation. So instead of x, put the x value. x squared minus 24 multiplied by x plus 40. And the answer would be negative 32. So that is this answer. Let me do it over here as well. So all you need to do is this 4 square minus 8 times 4 minus 11. And that's the answer. It's minus 27. So x value will be, just put the y value in, you'll get the answer. So we can easily find the vertex axis of symmetry. What about the direction of the parabola? If it is positive, it's always opening upwards. Over here, it's positive upwards. But now, since over here, the, the direction has changed. It's not vertical. It's horizontal over here. It opens the right side. Now, sorry, over here. Now, this is very important because x equal to everything to the other side. It will be x equal to minus 3y squared. Now, this will be opening to the left side. Okay, just be careful because the general form must have x or y to one side and all the squares, see for example like this, in the other side. Okay, it will be ax, by. So that's the thing. That's how we can solve all these values. But now we have still not solved the standard form. One way is to use the completing the square method and you can easily solve it. But I will tell you an easier method. Now. When you have got the vertex, you will have an idea because the standard form will have the vertex in, in it, the h and k value. Just remember this x minus h. So h value over here, the vertex value is 6, so x minus 6. Uh, then we will have plus k. But here now, look over here, the y k value that's the y axis, is 32. So it is minus 32, sorry. So it will be minus 32. And don't forget the square. Sorry, I forgot. And don't forget the a value. The a value was 2. So this is how we can write. Or if you're getting confused, remember the standard form. You can also do one more thing. That is expand this. See now, this I have to just expand. 2 multiply by what? Use the x minus uh, a, x minus a the whole square uh, or a minus b the whole square formula. It'll be a square over here. The first term is not a; it's x square minus six times two is twelve and x. So it is two a into b. So two 
multiplied by 6 multiplied by x plus b squared what is this b value uh, you need to square it will be 36 minus 32 now simplify multiply this inside throughout it will be 2x squared minus 24x plus uh, 36 twos are 72 minus 32 now 72 minus 32 would be 440 the answer will should match the question let's check it is 2x squared minus 24x plus 40 so if you simplify this or expand this and simplify what happens is you should get the question back so this is how you can do it now over here in this case you should just remember the formula see the formula for the standard form in the vertical axis of symmetry and horizontal axis of symmetry is different so please remember it thoroughly over here you can see y minus k so whatever the k value is there in the vertex is inside and whole squared and added with the h value so it's not the same thing what we did over here see over here this is h k the k value is minus 4 then that will be whole squared plus the h value but it's minus so i'll write minus 27 and over here a value is 1 so we don't write it so this is the standard form so this is how we can easily solve it now we do not use simplifying the square method some students get confused with that method or you might find it very lengthier since all the options are there you can do it quickly now we have explained taking a long time but once you're thorough with these problems it'll take you max one to two minutes you can solve these problems very very easily